first of all, Dreamapply, as uh, Lehari already said, uh, it's been around for quite some time. And now about three of the, the 10 oldest universities in the world are using Dreamapply. For example, University of Siena, which is uh, from 1240. But uh, let's look at why Dreamapply is relevant at all. So firstly, if you look about 30 years ago, almost all admissions was done on paper. Today, uh, most universities have an online application form uh, available. And so it's convenient for students to, to fill in the data online. But um, uh, when you look into the back of the uh, of what's going on actually in the back end, then um, uh, the reality is that admissions offices work has become a lot more complex than it was uh, 30 years ago. And uh, this is because uh, we are doing actually uh, very many different things. Um, for example, if we look at uh, today's reality in international students' admissions, then uh, this is the typical picture that we see. There is about 27 different things that an international student needs to do to enter uh, the door of a university. And uh, on the university side, there is around 50 different things that needs to be done uh, to get the student to, to step in the door of the university. And of course, uh, to do this manually is, is a lot of work. So what we have achieved with Dreamapply is that um, uh, thanks to the automatization, we have managed to cut about 60% of the admin work uh, for the universities and increase uh, the international candidates numbers between 50 to 100%. And of course, uh, this, uh, this pays off very quickly because um, if you talk about international students, then uh, getting international students is... Um, it's quite expensive for universities. If, if you consider going to an international study fair, it can cost uh, easily 10,000 euros. And um, uh, with uh, tools that can, can help uh, to make uh, the recruitment more successful, uh, it's, it's possible to get a lot bet better outcomes. So um, why is internationalization in, in general at, at all important? So there, this is an example of uh, University of Helsinki that's also working with our, our platform. Uh, it's important because um, when, we, uh, when we want to make the learning experience better for the students, then going to study abroad is one of the easiest ways to do it. Um, and, uh, and this is the reason why we started to develop DreamApply in the first place. And of course, we started from the student's perspective. Uh, so how can we make the life uh, of an international student, of, of a person who wants to do something uh, totally unique that, that most people don't dare even to consider to go to study abroad? Um, what are the bottlenecks from these people's perspective when they uh, are considering this, uh, this uh, quite uh, tough challenge? And uh, thanks to this, I believe um, that we have looked at the student's perspective, we have achieved to, uh, these great results. And um, here is a slide of, uh, of some of the examples of uh, success stories, what we have achieved so far. So for example, uh, we're running Estonian and Lithuanian and Hungarian national systems uh, for, for various student recruitment processes. And um, uh, around 250, Universities in total are, are working with, with Dreamapply platform today. And for them, of course, it was not uh, very difficult to switch to remote work uh, because uh, Dreamapply is working fully, fully uh, online. So if you look at uh, what Dreamapply is working on, then uh, uh, we have taken a very simple approach um, to have a positive user experience so the person would feel convenient when they're served in an online setting, and at the same time to have a very high efficiency to de decrease the workload from the university admissions offices. And um, this is, of course, quite different from, from what you see in many other um, systems that are used for this purpose. Uh, this is the Estonian national system, um, how it looks like at the moment. So go, go and check it out, estonia.dreamapply.com. And uh, a few examples of why uh, digitizing of education can be very, very beneficial. Uh, we've looked at uh, statistics of, um, of uh, uh, how the international, well, let's say why the international students want to go to study in Estonia at all. And um, 
thanks to looking at the statistics, we found out that um, uh, there uh, was a very clear reason uh, why the students uh, considered Estonian universities. And uh, this was um, that uh, they liked the, the quality of service that they got from the universities, uh, the clearliness of the admission process. And uh, be because of the cooperation between the Estonian government and Reimply, uh, this is what we have achieved um, during the past, um, uh, let's say, uh, nine years in Estonia. So uh, moving from uh, a few thousand international candidates to, to um, almost uh, sevenfold uh, the, the result that was before cooperation. Uh, just a few examples of tools that are available for the universities uh, in DreamApply. So, for example, um, today in, in the coronavirus time, it's very important for universities to be able to do online marketing. And of course, for this, it's very important to understand uh, w what marketing works and what doesn't. So, for example, historically, you saw that uh, here is a budget for doing marketing. So we kind of pour it into a big black box. And then we shake it heavily, and then we kind of see what kind of comes out of it. And we have no idea what is connected with each other and why the students are coming to us at all. Um, but uh, with the proper marketing tracking tools where you can see exactly why a certain university uh, is uh, attracting students, which campaigns are, are useful for the university, uh, this allows to, to pinpoint uh, the investments that the universities are making. Uh, then, of course, uh, what you want to look at is also uh, how to what how our work looks like in general as a university. So there are certain types of statistics that can be very useful to plan the work of the university better. This concrete graph shows us uh, when the candidates are coming in, and um, what we usually see that is that there is a lot of activity just before the deadline. Of course, the final hours before the deadline are the most popular. And uh, at the same time, then we can see also how quickly we are responding to the students. So for example, another graph that we have looked at uh, showed that um, if we reply to an international student with um, within three weeks uh, of the moment of application, then it's two times likely that they will come to study to our university than when we delay the response uh, uh, further, let's say, if he would re respond in two months, it's two times less likely that uh, that they will actually come to study to our university. And um, yeah, just uh, some fancy stuff as well. So there is a machine vision uh, system used to uh, look at uh, the documents that the students have submitted and, and find errors in the uh, documents that have been submitted. So uh, just to make uh, life nicer and easier, for the universities. I hope it was interesting for you. Thank you.